Hi, it's Maria again, and I'm going to share with you this clock uh, that I altered. I picked up this old clock at the thrift store, uh, I don't know, I guess a couple of months ago, and uh, it was just a, a very old, ugly clock, and uh, I only paid a couple of dollars for it. So I decided, pulled it out uh, of my boxes the other day and decided to alter this. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and give this to one of my boys to keep in his room because he loves the steampunk feel. I don't know if you can call this a true steampunk clock, but it's got a steampunk feel to it. And the first thing I did was paint it all black. And the clock... I, I replaced the front plate of the clock in all, uh, it's got all new clock pieces and it does work, but for some reason I can't get my handles to move. So I'm going to have to get someone to look at that. I don't know if I put them in there correctly, incorrectly, and I, they're just not moving but the clock is ticking it's, they're just not moving and I don't I don't know how to fix it so I need to get someone to help me to do that uh, but anyway I painted I painted the whole thing black and uh, removed all the internal pieces and uh, covered it with uh, uh, let me show you the paper that I used uh, I use the DCWV Tattered Time. I've had this for quite a while. And uh, it's just the, piece, the pieces that I used to cover the clock with. And, uh, anyway, I had a lot of fun doing this. Uh, and I knew I was going to end up giving it to one of my boys. But I added this handle and... Uh, the, the handle was gold and uh, I painted it and uh, just glued that with some E6000 to the box and uh, on the top I made this zipper flower really didn't want to add any flowers to this at all because my boys are so uh, they're so macho that I don't think that they would have liked that, but it, I wanted to add at least one flower, so I made the zipper flower because it had metal in it, and then I added this little, uh, I think it's by Memento, this little metal rose in the middle, and uh, the little chess piece, and the tiny little domino, these are the small ones, and uh, a couple of these game pieces on the top. I use grunge, grunge, the grunge board to make the wings and uh, I painted them in uh, black and gold. So they're on there, they're not going anywhere. So I thought those came out really nice. I added these memento uh, corner pieces here and uh, Added, added a little bit of gold paint to that. I added two pieces, this one and this one, and uh, some Tim Holtz uh, clog cogs here. Glued those down with the E6000. I cut out this little tag here and stamped let the games begin. Now this is removable. He can, uh, my son, the one that I'm giving it to, can leave it there or take it out, whatever he chooses to do. And I added this little clock piece <clears throat> from Tim Holtz. And I couldn't screw it in there, so I just uh, glued it down with the E6000. And I added this heavy chain here. Used a little eye hook back here uh, to attach it, and then attached it to uh, this piece here, and then added a bunch of uh, little charms. And I've got one here with his initial, and you know, little 
little chess piece because he plays chess. He's an avid chess player. So I wanted to make sure I put those pieces on there. A little airplane, the clock from Tim, Tim Holtz, and uh, added some pieces inside of there. And a little black gem here, a little ruler. And uh, this is also from Tim Holtz. It says artful. And he's very artistic, so I wanted to make sure I added that on the so, That's really about it. I really like the way it came out. I think it represents my son perfectly. And uh, I hope you like it. And hope you enjoyed my video and have a wonderful day. Okay, bye.